not cold. But I really don't want to get up. Oh, cutscene. Oh yeah, they get freaky at the end, don't they? The scary sorceress. I warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. Oh, thanks. But I um, think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after. He's this. clearly a male. I think that means you like you. <laughs> Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Oh. Uh... Is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? Does he normally say that this early? For some reason, I feel like... Because this is the first conversation we ever had. That didn't feel right. I feel like we were missing a cutscene. Or at least I felt like that cutscene normally took place in like the second world. Though, I don't think so. That'll be a weird thing to change if that's the case. But that didn't feel too organic. Because they get re they get real weird towards the end of the game. Especially when she goes all... Uh, huh. Well, once she takes that cloak off, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't a furry, but I mean... They kind of knew what they were doing. And... Oh! There it is. That is the first world. All this talk about how the cloud thing, I felt like, oh, the cloud one it feels like it's the second world. Nope, I'm right the whole time. Haha, <laughs> my five or I guess actually six year old brain was right. I knew it. I knew it, damn it. Sunny Villa. Okay. So. I was originally going to do Sheila and then end the stream, but I think I want to do Sunnyville. I'm not going to do the skateboarding part because that takes a little bit of time. Or maybe we could do a little bit of the skateboarding part because, you know, skateboarding part is pretty dope. But Sheila. Oh, oh excuse me. Kind of. With your puberty there. Well, let's free Sheila first, at least. She. I zoom in. I'm getting oh, paid whoops. a fortune <laughs> to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> this pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for You're a slave driver. Sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape. If you were to pay me, say. This is a kangaroo court. Ah. Spyro, I oh, love your new achievement. Naivety. Money's in the bag. Kind-hearted nature. <laughs> I, uh, She's gonna kick you your ass. This favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon you'd be one of them dragons. Man, she's thick though. Yeah. Name Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Holy dragons shit. used to live here. Didn't you know? They say it was Game of Thrones came out before this, ago, right? The song of Ice and Fire, left. I mean. Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out of the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wazoo. wishing stones, you name um, it. But so when the, the dragons came. left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit anytime you like. Man. Now that I'm thinking about it, you know, really kind of thinking about it, it's Spyro Furry based off of the <laughs> based off a of song of Ice and Fire, or maybe the other way around. Did George R. R. Martin play this game and go, "Huh, 
Targaryens. I think I know what I'm gonna write about. Oh, look at the look at the text box. That that doesn't seem right. Uh, I think there's a problem here. Sorry about that, I had to readjust something. So, Sunny Villa! Let's go. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, they're like little lions. They're lions, right? Yeah, it makes sense. Because they're like. Yeah, because they're gladiators. They're Romans. I'm like 90% sure a skill point is burning all these trees. So I want to burn every tree I see, damn it. Okay, that's enough. I don't like that voice. That that voice. That voice made me feel odd things, and not in a good way. Man, why are you scared? Why why are you even here if you're just gonna sh shudder the whole time? I mean, come on now. Oh, I missed one. Oh man, can't wait to do my playthrough of the Sonic Adventure. Oh boy, kind of dreading that. But I feel like it's a game that everyone has to but begrudgingly play through at some point on their uh, <laughs> well during their last play career it ain't great it really ain't I mean it, it it's good I guess for, the, for when it came out cuz I mean it came out literally like a year after Super Mario 64 and Hi Spyro. Each oh, hold time on. a fairy zaps you, like this. Ow. It means your progress has been saved. If you get into trouble, you'll return to the last place you got zapped. Oh. Okay. Well, where was I? Oh. Ooh. Excuse me. Oh. About about my bedtime, time, but yeah, Sonic Adventure came out I think a year after Super Mario 64, and it was like pretty huge. Like, well, I guess not huge change in uh, the progression of graphics and all that. Is too big to well, I already, I already got him, but yeah, pretty impressive for the time. And the remakes are pretty good, even though there's, I guess there are remakes. There's kind of an upgrade in visuals and all that, though a lot of people say the DreamWorks 
version looks better. At least the character models look better. I kind of prefer the GameCube, PS2, Xbox. What, did it come out on Xbox? Uh, I don't know. But, yeah. The problem, though, is <laughs> that game... Yeah, it controls like absolute ass. It's one of the most annoying games to like actually play just due to the controls. And it doesn't get a whole lot better than Sonic Adventure 2. It really doesn't. In all honesty, I actually think 2 is worse than 1. For reasons not like not for like gameplay reasons for some of like the missions and the stages you have to do especially the ones with tails oh my god you have to like go around and like a mech suit is tails and it makes this loud ass like screeching noise the entire time and it's absolutely appalling Get the eggs over there. And in order to do so, I think we have to glide. We can't go we can't go here and then go there. We have to go from here to there. So let's do it. Oh, didn't even have to hover. Well, I hovered, but I realistically didn't need to. It's weird because it's I remember like a lot of like getting to these parts when I was younger, but I think it was like during the second time I completed the game. The first time I think it was just kind of a compilation of oh here's Miles. Had to go Miles and uh, Miles to see you. But yeah, I'm losing my mind, but I think it was like a whole bunch of me kind of just randomly finding these eggs. Because, you know, I wasn't using a guide or anything back then. And I didn't use a guide during my second play for which I know I played... Uh, I think I did my first complete playthrough. I didn't 100% it. Cause, mainly because I don't think I knew where everything was despite really going for the game well I went really for the game like the second time I played through but the first time I beat it I did 100% it I think I was maybe like seven -ish. and then I bought the game again oh oh what is that ah so I had owned the game, I think when I was like six or seven. I beat it, sold it, and then really wanted it again. And I know like the blockbuster near me was selling PlayStation 1 games, which I remember at the time was already kind of like, like you couldn't rent PlayStation 1 games anymore. That was, that was done and dealt with by then. But they were selling PlayStation 1 games during, at their, like, I guess they had, like, didn't they have, like, a, they had, like, a, kind of, like, a GameStop type of thing at Best, not Best Buy, Blockbuster. Kind of towards the end of Blockbuster. What was it? It was called, like, Game Rank or something? I actually think I have a card still for it, believe it or not. My wallet from when I was, like, 10, but... Yeah, it was there, and I think it was, actually, it was only like $10. Man. But I also had no money back then, so, oh, what's going on here? Um, oh. Do I want to know what just happened? Oh, whoops, just bumped the mic. Do I even want to know what he just did to that chicken? 
But yeah, it was like, actually it might have been $20. That kind of makes more sense. But I bought it. And I'm quite sure I was like 10-ish, 10 or 11. And that's the second time I played through. And yeah, from like all like my, kind of my memories of where I've seen a lot of this stuff and whatnot is from then, I believe. Because I bought it again on the PlayStation Network so at some point when I was in high school. And I think I played through it. You have anything to say? Wow, you look high as a damn kite. But yeah, I bought it on the PlayStation Network at some point in high school. And I played and completed it again. And I think I did it like. Why do you sound Italian? Sanders! Um, okay. What was I at? What was I saying? Sorry, I have my cat asleep. <clears throat> oh, this is where we shred. the rest of those trees. I want that skill point. <clears throat> but yeah, I bought it again. Played through it a couple times in high school. And then... I think at some point... Like, I didn't have access to my PlayStation anymore. So I think I just used, like, an emulator. And... Oh, I got that tree. What the hell? Ooh, you can actually see the tree from here. You definitely couldn't do that in PlayStation. The draw distance would not have allowed you to have done that. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. There's no way the draw distance was that far from the original PlayStation. But... Yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, we have to come back after we... Put in a Sheila stage. What is this? Is there like a cup here? Oh, I guess I can't jump on it. But yeah. So I think I played this game from beginning to end. Not 100% every time. Probably. Five, six times? Probably six, actually, now that I think about it, because, like I said. For the oh, now you're talking. I think I could have worn him down sooner or later. Well, okay. That was where he didn't talk to me the first time I came here. But yeah, that's my history with the game, for the most part. And every time I kind of remember where things are, I'm remembering it. Oh, excuse me. I'm remembering it from my second playthrough when I was like 10 or 11. Not my first. T too much, too much, st too much external stimuli for me to fully process everything. Oh, oh, those are borderline jorts. Borderline. Spyro, I found this gladiator training arena that also makes for a pretty cool stage. But they're not, though. Care Damn. for a test of your boarding skills? Man, that that's kind of unfortunate. I bet you can't catch all 15 lizards running around here. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm the king of lizard catching. Also, there's no time limit. That's my type of game. These guys look like the original. 
I like that. Man, I, I remember spending so much time here. Mainly because it took me like forever to actually do these challenges. So at one point, you, I think after this you have to... Ow! After this you have to get a certain score. I remember it taking so long to do. But then like when I was in high school and I played Faru and did this, it was like really easy. So a lot of things that are like super difficult, or at least I remember them being super difficult, is probably just me being a wee child. At the same time, I feel like I was kind of better at video games as a child. At least, at least with certain video games. Maybe like fighting games I was better at as a kid. Because, man, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not great at fighting games. I'm really not. Not now anymore. Ugh. What am I saying? At least not anymore. I used to be though. I used to whip everyone's ass. Like people that were older than me. I used to send them back to preschool. But nowadays, I don't know. Too much stuff going on in my head. You know? That's my excuse. Too, too, too much brain function. straight up murdering these little wizard guys here. They look quite joyful though. They're happy that I'm helping them escape from this mortal realm. Also, why why can't I like go up? What's going on here? I'm trying to do tricks. Let me do sweet tricks. Please. Oh, you have to press X. Ow! The noise that you make is Terrific! Sounds like you're shattering every bone in your body when you fall. Oh. This isn't good. Ow! I know, I keep saying Bazinga a lot, even though I've watched maybe two episodes of Big Bang Fury. It's one of those shows that is literally a laugh track. Laugh track of the show. With jokes that are really only kind of funny to people that don't get them, I guess. And when I mean get them, I mean kind of understand what they're referencing. Like, if you understand what they're talking about, like for real, it's really not funny. <laughs> Because what they're saying is kind of like really just like common sense things. A lot of it is just stupid. Don't even get me started on the goddamn emulator. Oh boy, that now that scene. It, if you have any idea how a fucking emulator works, there's no defending that scene. It's so unfunny and just. The, I don't. I'm, what's weird is that it's kind of like who who are they? Who are they catering to with that kind of joke? No one, because the people that know what an emulator is, it's just like okay, they're talking about using emulators, but there's a laugh track. Okay, that's weird. Why? But if you're someone that generally like doesn't know what an emulator is, are you just supposed to laugh because there's a laugh track going on? Is that the is that the deal? Because I mean that's what laugh tracks are kind of for, sort of. There's like some kind of psychological reason behind it. Also, where am I going? Why can't I get it? I guess I have to go back up. Can I go this way? Yeah. There's like some kind of like psychological reason, I think, as to why laugh tracks quote unquote work. 
because it makes people want to laugh or something like that. Mainly because people like naturally don't want to feel excluded from things. So when they hear other people laugh, even though the laughs and most laugh tracks are from people that are more than likely dead. So you're hearing a crowd laugh that has been dead for years. But I don't know. It generally, like, it doesn't work for everyone, that's for sure. It doesn't work for me. When I hear a laugh track, well, maybe when I was younger it worked. Because, you know, like the George Lopez show had a laugh track. But there's not, like, a whole lot of moments in the George Lopez show that made me laugh. Now, that 70s show has a laugh track. Hey, that was oh. great. And while you were boarding, I found this in a... Emily. Well, hold on, Emily. Yeah, I'm ready for round two. All right. If you can catch all the lizards before time Oh, now there's a time on wiping out. Go get them, Spyro. Is there another one after this? Where there's like a point challenge? Also, where are they at? Oh yeah, I can't wipe out. Oh man, this this one's hard. I forgot. I'm thinking about it now. This is actually okay. I I'm gonna have to really pay attention for this. Actually, shit. Wanted to keep talking about laugh tracks. Damn it. Uh, I'm trying to get back on topic here while also not losing focus. Ow! Ah, too bad. Uh, let's try this one more time. Go get him, Spyro. Well, laugh tracks. Yeah. I, they're okay, I suppose, if the show is structured around it and the show's actually funny. While most shows with laugh tracks aren't funny. But, yeah, something, something, Big Bang Theory. Pretty good pace. I think you're going. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, that was a weird shot. Up here, I think. And we have to go, I think, over here. Oh no! I didn't mean to. What's going on? I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Oh no! What am I doing wrong? Oh man, I can't work under pressure. I forget how to do things. So is it up and X? Is that how you do it? When I think about it, I can't do it. Okay, we did it. Whoa, that was sweet. Daisy. Okay, so I think there's one more challenge here. I think. You can go for the course record now if you want. Whenever you hop on a skateboard, a timer will start. Score is uh, as I think you get an egg for this. Let me check. No, you don't. Okay, so there's no reason to. Huh.
There's no reason to do this. Also, we're missing an egg in Sunrise Spring. Hop to Rapunzel. That's... Yeah, we need Sheila for that. Learn gliding. Did... Wait, we got the egg. Egg by the stream. Apply for the cave. Learn gliding. Huh? Uh... Let's go get that one real Also, we're only 9% done. Huh, the, the egg total is a little odd. I feel like we would be like 15% or something. Just based off that total. But yeah, the points don't matter. There's no really point in doing it. Aside from trying to pull off some sick tricks. It might be a Steam achievement. I'll check later if that's the case. If it is the case, I'll definitely come back to do it. But for now, let's go back to the hub world and get that last egg. And after that, we will be done with the stream. I'm really tired. Oh. A lot of stuff I have to do tomorrow, too. Or technically today, actually. Shit. It's 2.30 in the morning. my dog moving oops uh, sorry didn't mean to bump the mic uh, I guess he's kind of move moving Ugh. Ugh. did we have to talk to hunter again after jumping there that's weird just that's why he keep bringing it up every time we get near him Uh, something shiny in that cave over there. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, okay. So he has to jump over here. And then we meet him there. Okay. Okay. Guy picking up what you're putting down. Coal train. We did it. We got all the eggs. All right. So, after this, we are going to... Uh, go to the seal, or whatever. Actually, we can unlock this place, so let's go here real quick. Not gonna do it now, but... I think I'm gonna do Sheila first. Oh, we don't have to unlock it. Does it already? Neat. <sighs> so. Oh, they're holding on! What? Oh, they they jump down when you get near them. Oh, what? Only one of them jumps down. That's weird. You can bring back one person. What? <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna be a little while. You can you can come down. You don't have to you don't have to stay up there. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. So next stream. Yay! Oh. Portal is working. Oh. Next stream, we're gonna do this, but we're also gonna do Sheila. Actually, we're gonna do Sheila first. Sheila, and then the seal. And then, well, 
maybe we'll come back and do this. Because we have to have Sheila's world done first. Maybe we'll come back and... Well, we have to have the bird. We have to have the bird to get through the lava, molten lava place. So maybe we'll do the Sheila part in... Uh, what's it called? Sunny Villa when we come back to do the bird stuff. Okay, so Sheila's Alp. Um just wanna go let's go over there first and then we'll end the stream. Oh my dog went crazy. Why did you turn around like that? Dog, I'm right here. Hello. Uh, dog. Uh. Game. Thanks again, Spider. Ah! Now uh, I have to find out what, what is happening. The sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Uh, oh, what is happening to my game? And my dog. My dog is like all to the side now. This is weird. I didn't press it. Also, we get to kick the shit out of things. Man, they didn't even give her pants. Guys. Uh, no comment. Yeah. So my dog is all messed up. It's kind of off to the side for some reason. But yeah. That's going to be the uh, end of the stream. Thank you y'all for coming by appreciate you I would possibly send a raid request or link or what what am I saying but yeah we'll do that some other time so, I might stream again tomorrow night. Kind of good to get in the habit of doing so. I want to get, like, consistent with things. So, yeah. Until then, catch you all on the flip side. Bye. Well, I guess I got to end the stream first. Come on, get up here, let me end.